Two of the juries spoke with us after the verdict. They heard a lot of evidence in this case, and they found Timothy Cook guilty in the murder of Omar Medina. But two, they say two jurors just could not be convinced that Derek Spurgeon knew what he was doing when he helped his friend cover up the case. And on that count, it was a hung jury. We, the people in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Timothy John Cook, guilty of the crime of second degree murder. For two years, the family of Omar Medina has been waiting for justice. Prosecutors painted a picture of a version between two roommates, the suspect, Timothy Cook, and Medina. It was Medina's sister who reported him missing. Everything that I did was revolved around him. So um, this, I can't even tell you what it means. During the trial, the deputy district attorney showed text messages from Cook to his brother, calling Medina a, quote, pig, and showing pictures of him drunk and passed out. But ultimately, they say Cook killed him for money. Mr. Medina had an $80,000 settlement. There were uh, documents of those um, uh, from his bank account found on Mr. Cook's Google. Prosecutors said Cook meticulously covered up the crime, and jurors say it was enough to convince them. Uh, there was some real careful thought to what to remove, the drywall, the tile on the floor, uh, to go to the Home Depot. Also on trial, Cook's friend Derek Spurgeon. The DA's office tried him as an accessory after the fact, saying he helped Cook take a metal drum to the San Diego Bay. A diver found the drum, and when police opened it, they found Medina's body crammed inside. The jury deadlocked. Most of us felt that that could be implied and that there was plenty of evidence to support that he knew. The family says closure has been a long time coming, and for now, find Cook's conviction the justice they've been seeking. He didn't deserve to die, you know, the way that he did. Now, Cook has two prior felony convictions, and under California's three-strike sentencing law, he could get a tougher sentence. If convicted, he could face 50 years to life in prison. As for Spurgeon, they're not sure if he'll be retried. The DA's office will decide that in the coming weeks.